Alright guys, this is Business 64 here. I'm about to do my review on the first round of the draft. Now I don't have 15, the over 15 things, so I'm going to have to make this quick. Alright, the first pick, we all know is Andrew Luck, which most of you probably know I don't like Andrew Luck. Honestly. I think he's overrated. Um, the In the senior year, remember, he didn't he didn't win the Heisman, first of all. Second of all, he didn't win the big games. The, the two teams that he actually played, which I can't remember at the moment, he lost to. I mean, I just don't... I mean, hell yeah, he's talented. But I just don't think Andrew Luck is, will be as hyped as everyone else thinks he's going to be. Number two, RG3. I think RG3 is a better quarterback. He's faster. I think he has a better arm. He's more athletic. I think he's smarter. He's um, RG3. I think deserves the Heisman. Very good player. Um, you know what? You know I never really heard of RG3. He was just kind of like the sleeper pick in the Heisman because everyone thought Trent Richardson was going to win it just because he's in Bama. But you know I looked at RG3's tapes and I believe that he is an elite. Will be an elite quarterback. Now he has. Um, now, the Redskins, though, they're not that great offensively, so they're, he's going to have to do some of the work. All right, number three, Trent Richardson, best running back in the draft. Very good pick by the Browns. Now, I'm a Steelers fan, but I'm still a Bama fan hard, so this is a very good pick. Very good, he's A lot of people are comparing him to uh, skinnier Adrian Peterson. I, I do see the comparison there, but we'll just have to see what the Browns what to do now. You're going against the Baltimore Ravens and Pittsburgh Steelers run defense, so it's going to be so. Trent and Bear get some uh, guys on the line. For Matt Khalil, I think I pronounced that right, out of USC, best for lineman in the draft. Now I watched his tapes a little bit, and I he's second to none. The Vikings are going to really use this. Um, pick because Adrian Peterson needs some help. Um, it's like a one-man team. There's Adrian Peterson's going to need all the help he he can get. Number five, Justin Blackman, best receiver in the draft. Uh, definitely Blaine Gabbard's going to need weapons. Blaine Gabbard's going to need a lot of help. Now Blaine Gabbard had a terrible year this year, but I think now maybe with a weapon, I think he could uh, potentially get a much better year. I think Justin Blackman now he's from Texas Tech so he's going to be in Florida so he's going to have still have that southern heat feel to him. So I think I believe that this could be a good... Where did Blaine Gabbert come from? I think he came from a southern school too. I can't remember at the moment. I don't have time to look it up. Um, but Morris Claiborne out of LSU for Dallas Cowboys traded up there was a lot of trades in here. I'm not going to really go over trades. I, don't, I Like I said, I only have 15 minutes to get over this. Morris Claiborne at LSU, best corner. Dallas Cowboys, really. they Dallas Cowboys, I think, drafted a corner last year. Now they're going to draft another corner this year. So they really want to go with the 90s secondary that they had back in the 1990s. That great secondary they had in the 90s. I think they're going to try to rebuild that. Number seven, Mark Barron out of uh, Alabama. Love this safety. He was a key to our defense. I'm a Bama fan, as you can tell on my YouTube page. Uh, the Buccaneers. Buccaneers, as you know, had John Lynch. Great safety for Tampa Bay years ago. And they want to get that next great safety. Ryan Tanner Hill, number eight. I This was not a shock. I knew the Dolphins need a quarterback. Ryan Tanner Hill is very under... A lot of people say he's overrated. I think he's underrated. I think Andrew Luck's the overrated one. I don't, I'm not going to say that I think Luck's better than Tanner Hill, but I definitely believe that Tanner Hill can play football. All right, number nine, we had uh, Luke Colucci out of, I probably said that wrong, Boston College, linebacker. He won the Dick Buckus Award for best linebacker, best linebacker in the draft. I've watched tapes on him. He's very big, physical, reminds me of a Brian Urlacher, reminds me of a kind of like a white white Ray Lewis um, this guy definitely now they had they have another Mayo at linebacker I think that's his name so they'd be kind of great to have a linebacking crew 
to help Cam Newton on defense. All right, number 10 is Stephen Gilmore at Buffalo. Buffalo needs a secondary. Buffalo needs a defense, especially when you have um, the New England Patriots and you're having the Jets with Tim Tebow and Mark Sanchez. You're going to need a secondary. All right, um, Kansas City, number 11 with DeMarty Poe. Uh, this guy ran like a 4'6 at 350 pounds. So this guy is fast as hell for being probably the largest guy in the draft. Um, this guy, you know, Kansas City's notorious. I, I, I think in the last five years they drafted nothing but D linemen. I think that's all they draft defensive tackles. I'm pretty sure. So this would be another, you know, Kansas City's going to try to get that front four back when they had years ago. Um, with the Eagles have all the talent at number 12, so, uh, so it was really kind of hard to really pick, but they went with Fletcher Cox, which Fletcher Cox is, I think he's out of Mississippi State. Um, he's versatile. He's very good. SEC defensive tackle, so you know he has speed and you know his size. I Now, Michael Foy, was, this was kind of an obvious pick because Larry Fitzgerald wanted um, someone next to him, and he uh, he actually said that uh, Floyd was better than uh, um, Black Blackman. So um, now it's up to the quarterback of the team, which I don't know who's going to be. All right, defense attack of Michael Brockers out of um, I well, I can't look it up right now, but he's, he got drafted to St. Louis. Good pick. St. Louis really needs a defense. Oh, God. St. Louis needs just about anyone, because Steven Jackson is just sick of being the one-man team there. Uh, they drafted another guy. Like I said, I'm just trying to make this quick. I don't have time to think. But, um, the one guy they drafted a couple years ago, he's done really good at defensive end, and now they got him. Bruce Serving. Now, this pick, he has a lot of, out of West Virginia, he had a lot of criminal charges, outside troubles. So, and this guy, the problem with him is he's not a run guy. With Seattle, when you have a physical team like the 49ers, and plus they got Brandon Jacobs now with Frank Gore, I think you want to have a physical linebacker. Now, when it comes to the pass, this guy can, this guy can get to you. So it's interesting to see what the uh, Seahawks got. Quentin Copels out of uh, the Jets. Um, pretty good pick. Um, Rex Ryan style defensive lineman. Um, so not much to say there. Uh, Kirkpatrick, I really want him to go to the Steelers. I thought he fit perfectly with the Steelers, but he's going with the Bengals with the uh, with coming the fastest wide receivers in the NFL. We're both in the AFC North. For one, physical teams are in the AFC North, so they want to get a Bama physical SEC corner, and they got him. Melvin Ingram, defensive end. Um, Chargers uh, drafted him. Very good pick. Um, some people said that he's like the best defensive guy in the draft. I won't argue with that. Um, Shane McClone, defensive end out of Chicago. Now, some people, some Bears fans are bitching about, oh, not getting a receiver or O-lineman. Um, it's called when you play two of the top three offenses in the league in the same division. You're going against the Packers and you're going against the Lions. What's more important, getting a receiver when Chicago Bears have been traditionally a defensive team. Or do you want to stop Aaron Rodgers? Do you want to stop Calvin Johnson? Stop Matt Stafford? I'd rather stop them. I don't care if I score three points a game. If they score zero, we still win the game. Okay, so you Bears fans need to shut up. Okay? I don't care if I'm calling anyone out. I don't care if you dislike this shit. That's my little random Chicago Bears fans. Kendall Wright out of uh, Tennessee. Um, pretty good pick because uh, Christian Pond or Jake Locker, sorry, or I I can't think right now. I'm trying to make this quick. Um, you know he needs a receiver. With the Tennessee receivers have been injured a lot, haven't really got much production out of them, so they wouldn't mind taking them. Chandler Jones, defenseman at Syracuse, probably one of the best DNs, if not the best in the draft. 
Patriots got him. Uh, pretty good pick. Um, there's been a lot of controversy about Brandon Whedon being the oldest guy in the draft. Oldest guy in the history of the draft, actually. Um, going into QB. I don't like this. Uh, he's a good quarterback. I just didn't like the, him going to the Browns. Maybe the 49ers could have picked him up in the second round or something. But I don't think that the Browns need him. Colt McCoy is a good quarterback. He just needed a lot of help. Ryan Reef offense tackle. Um, Lions got him. Uh, very good pick to help Matt Stafford out. I think this will help the offense a little bit more. Um, now, I'm wearing James Harrison jersey, so David Disgustrio, 52 out of Stanford. Thank you, Steelers, for not picking a damn defensive tackle in the damn first round like you always do. You actually addressed what we needed, an offensive guard to help Marquise Pouncey to maybe start the running game a little bit. Good choice. Dante Hightower, which uh, a lot of the Steeler fans thought we were going to get, went to the Patriots. Patriots, you know, had a terrible defense. They're working on that defense. Real young defense. Whitney Marcer Marcellus, the next big DN, since Mario Wims and all the other defensive players left. They want to rebuild on defense. And a pretty good defense, ranked number two in the league. Kevin Zeller um, out of Cincinnati. Cincinnati got him. Guard to help that offense out. Good choice. Nick Perry, defensive end, onto a linebacker with Clay Matthews on the other side to help that. Um, you know, the Packers' defense wasn't that great. Despite being 15-1, and they were not a 15-1 defense. Harrison Smith's safety because, yeah, Vikings are atrocious, um, so they got they got that out of the way. A.J. Jenkins, wide receiver to help uh, Crabtree and help that versatile running game you know, a little bit. Doug Martin, running back out of you know, Tampa Bay, got him. Um, help with the running game that the uh, Tampa Bay misses. And running back David Wilson for 32, which I'm not a big fan of. I, I, I think the uh, power football get I think the Giants could have went to another power back here. Alright, overall, I didn't have any problems with this draft. I thought, a lot, I thought with the exception of two picks, um, this draft was good. Now, I'm, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, comment down below, I'll give you more in-depth. So, I will talk to you later. Peace.